Okay, so there are two types of mirrors, or should I say types of curved mirrors that we are going to look at um, in, uh, in these videos. And they are concave mirrors, which are also referred to as converging mirrors. And these mirrors are typically found um, pretty much in objects like flashlights um, and so what they do is they pretty much they have the ability to uh, collect light within the uh, the concave and I always like to think of the term cave so here's the, the mirror and the objects that we're looking at a rays of light are going inwards to the cave right so flashlights uh, pretty much telescopes have these concave mirrors, um, solar ovens, right? way to go green, pretty much sometimes on rooftops of some condos will have these uh, solar ovens that allow people to help them uh, cook and even boil water. Um, pretty much the headlights in cars, right? headlights in cars um, that um, pretty much allow for the movement of light if we're going to go um, downwards for regular lights right daytime or even evening lights or high beams that will go um, will be pointed outwards as well as pretty much a uh, compact mirror that uh, people will use uh, maybe when they're wanting to check out their makeup, right? So a, a compact, uh, and this allows for the object to be enlarged, so you can allow you to see a lot more using these mirrors. And the second type of mirror that we are going to uh, look at are referred to as convex mirrors, otherwise known as diverging mirrors. And these mirrors, pretty much, they um, they spread out light. So they spread light outwards. Right? And typically, they form virtual images. So they're not images that can be obtained with a screen. And so some examples of these uh, convex style mirrors, you'll see pretty much like if you go um, to uh, to the mall, right? Maybe a convenience store, you'll see these security mirrors, right? These security mirrors it allows them, uh, you know, when you look at these mirrors because they're curved outwards, right? So they're kind of almost like a ball like this mirror. So you're able to see so much more. Right when you're looking at them, right? If you go to the ATM and you'll see uh, one of these kind of convex mirrors to be able to see behind you, to be able to see around you, to see, you know, maybe is there someone coming in um, close to you. Uh, other places, pretty much your um, side view mirrors, mirrors in the car. Right, and and that's why if you you pay attention, as we said, right, we're we're able to see a lot more of the objects around us with these uh, convex mirrors because they spread light outwards. Notice the warning that comes with uh, typically with these types of cars that objects appear, um, they're, they're, they're a lot closer than they appear, right? Because these convex, the, uh, these convex mirrors, right, they spread out light, allow you to see a lot more, and hence the reason why we need to put a warning like that with the, uh, the side mirrors. And pretty much some phones, Right, some of the phones um, we have, let's say that that allow us to take our own picture. Right, if you know, if we're looking at some of the um, the phones in which uh, they don't have the rear and front facing cameras, and they only have the the rear camera, and when you turn it around, you might have this little convex style mirror that allows you to take your own portrait. So we're going to look at these types of mirrors and trying to draw these um, so-called ray light diagrams.